everybody, welcome back to another episode of Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Rizotriptan. Its brand name is Maxalt. Before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So Rizotriptan is a selective 5-hydroxytryptamine receptor agonist in intracranial blood vessels. This medication would induce cranial vasoconstriction, inhibit the release of vasoactive neuropeptides, and finally reduce transmission in the trigeminal pain pathway. In terms of indications for use, rizotriptan is indicated to be used in the acute treatment of migraines. Before somebody was to use rizotriptan, there are some contraindications they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings they should be made aware of. Patients cannot use rizotriptan if they've used a monoamine oxidase inhibitor in the previous 14 days. And a patient would also not be able to use rizotriptan if they've used another 5-hydroxytryptamine agonist in the last 24 hours. Patients with coronary artery vasospasm would not be able to use this medication. Patients with basilar or hemiplegic migraines would not be able to use rizotriptan. If patients had a hypersensitivity to rizotriptan or any other component of the formulation, they would not be able to use it. It would be contraindicated in patients who have uncontrolled hypertension, as well as ischemic bowel disease. It would also be contraindicated in patients with ischemic coronary artery disease and peripheral vascular disease. Patients who have used an ergotamine-containing or ergot-type agent in the last 24 hours would not be able to use rizotriptan. And finally, patients with a history of stroke or transient ischemic attack. Now, in terms of precautions, patients should be made aware that coronary artery vasospasm and some other serious cardiovascular events, including myocardial infarction or heart attack, has been reported in patients using rizotriptan. Rhythm disturbances, including ventricular tachycardia or atrial fibrillation, have also been reported. In some situations, these arrhythmias have occurred within hours of administration of a dose. In this situation, the medication would be stopped. Elevations in blood pressure have been reported. In some situations, it has led to a hypertensive crisis. It's important to note that this occurs in patients with a history of hypertension, as well as in patients without a history of hypertension. Tightness and pressure from non-cardiac origins have been reported with the use of this medication. In this situation, physicians would evaluate to ensure that these symptoms are caused by a non-cardiac origin. Stroke, cerebrovascular hemorrhage, as well as subarachnoid hemorrhages have all been reported with the use of this medication. Doses greater than 5 milligrams are not recommended in patients who are using propranolol. Blindness, both transient and permanent, have been reported. In some cases, it presents as partial but significant vision loss. Serotonin syndrome may occur with the use of this medication. Patients would be at an increased risk of experiencing this syndrome if they were using other medications that affected serotonin levels. Patients should be made aware that exacerbation of headaches in the sense of medication overuse headaches may occur with the use of this medication. And lastly, the oral disintegrating tablets do contain phenylalanine, so this may be important for some patients. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use rizotriptan or Maxalt, they can expect to take their dose in tablet form. When this medication is being used for the acute treatment of a migraine, usually five or 10 milligrams would be given on the first sign of symptoms. The dose may be repeated after two hours, just one time, and the maximum daily dose would be 30 milligrams per 24 hours. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using rizotriptan, so I'll go over some of those here now. Nausea happens between 4 and 8% of the time. About 4 to 10% of patients experience dizziness. 4 to 10% experience somnolence. And about 1 to 7% of patients may experience fatigue. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be chest pain, coronary artery spasm, myocardial infarction, ischemic colitis, or serotonin syndrome. That's all we're going to talk about today with rizotriptan or Maxalt. As always, I'm thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help me grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.